Hello, I'm Adam Barrowley and welcome to this Crystal Connection video where we're looking at five more crystals from Greenland. Now this is a bit of a sequel to my original video that I did a little while ago exploring five of my favourite crystals that are found in Greenland. You see, Greenland being at the crown of our globe has not had much movement and has some really old and powerful and special and unique crystals. I already explored five of these crystals in another video, so check that out first. But if you've seen that one and you're hungry for some more, well, I've got five more powerhouse crystals that you're absolutely going to love. These crystals may be rare, but if you can get your hands on them, or if they're already in your possession, you're going to find that the power that comes from the land of Greenland is so mighty and so powerful and can help to energize you in many different ways throughout your life. So let's dive in and look at five more crystals from Greenland. The first stone I want to talk to you about is one known as Kakortakite. So this is actually comprised of various crystals all growing together. So the black is normally a vetacinite and a little bit of azurine in there. The white's nepheline and the red, that is udilite. Now you may have heard of some of those crystals before, but when these crystals combine, what you find is this crystal that brings this real grace and poise into your life. In fact, I find that if you have a couple of tumbled stones, you can put one at the top of your head and one at the back of your spine, there's almost this kind of really elongation of the spine. And it helps you to stand up tall. So if you're working on your posture, having a couple of pieces and doing that each day can really help you to stretch and, and, and realign yourself back up. But what you're also going to find is this one works really powerfully with different chakras in the body you feel this kind of central energy running up and down. And so I find it works really well with the soul star chakra, with the crown, the heart, the base, and the earth star chakra as well. It has this real nice ability to be able to help you connect your spirituality to your, your practicality or your mundane life as well. What you also find is we who love our crystals and our stones have a strong connection to the earth and the spirituality of the earth. And I find this really helps to bring this out as well. What you're also gonna find is it's really great for moon work. And in fact, it's almost as though the three colors represent the three different aspects of the moon. You've got the white, which represents a new moon, the purity, the beginnings, the virginal aspect. You've got the red, which is the udialite, which is very much the mother who's got her bleed and that manifestation, that fertility power. And you've got the black, which is that kind of introspective, dark, crone, new moon, dark moon type of energy as well. So this is a really nice one to work with. I love to wear it around the full moon, but any part of the lunar cycle where you're actually tuning into the moon and working with the moon's energy. Overall, you're going to find that Kakortakite really brings this introspective energy. And I think in this mad, mad world where we're always rushing around, having a bit of time where we can just stop, breathe, stand up nice and tall, think about where we're heading can be really quite supportive as well. So if you feel that you need that support and feeling a bit more connected, a bit more in control of your life and taking a bit more time and not so rushed, then having Kokoro Kite around is really going to give you that grace, that poise and that ease. There's a lot of talk about self-love these days and Norgeite is a really great stone that can help you in reaching your goals of self-love. Now I'm just gonna put in my two bobs worth with self-love. Self-love isn't always bubble baths and chocolate bars. Sometimes self-love is actually getting yourself up early and going to the gym or going for a walk or saying I'll have a salad rather than that takeaway food and caring for yourself. Just like we show love to a child, be making sure that they get the best, then that can be self-love for us as well. So maybe you've been thinking about this and how you can love yourself more and maybe be a little stern with yourself and reward yourself in one way or keep you on path. Try holding this in your right hand or whichever hand you write with and send that image into there. Each time that you see yourself lapsing, going for food that's not good for you or staying up late than, later than what you should be or doing something that you know is unloving to yourself overall and to your future self, then hold your nausea right and help it to bring you back to that self-love. It also is a really great stone for self-love, uh, for sorry, for self-worth and realizing your self-worth. One of the scariest things that can be out there or that we can do is to put ourselves out there, maybe on social media, maybe for a job, maybe to ask someone out on a date or just to do something because we've, you know, we're kind of questioning ourselves in one way or another. The truth is we're not shapeshifters. We are who we are and we are just here to shine who we are and it's up to everyone else whether they want to love us or 
whether we should have just let them pass us by so that we can meet other great people that are there. But if you're worried about putting yourself out there and allowing yourself to shine, then Norgeite really helps with that self-worth and that self-esteem. Working with Norgeite over time will really give you the ability to realize how valuable your gifts are and what you have to contribute to the world. If you're wondering, what do I have to offer? Sit quietly with Norgeite and it'll really help you to get clear on, this is what I can give to the world and this is what I can offer to my community. In fact, Norgeite helps us live in harmony with our community and with the world. To find how to be the best version of ourselves, that not only benefits us and serves us and our path, but also serves everyone around us as well. We've all heard of rubies before, and maybe you've even got a ruby or two in your collection, but have you heard of a Fiskanatset ruby? Now this is from a certain location in Greenland, and it's considered to be possibly one of the oldest, if not the oldest, ruby in the entire world. So this has age old wisdom and really brings that kind of passionate fiery energy of a ruby with that kind of agelessness with it as well. Fiskanasset rubies are really great for helping you to connect with your passions that you brought into this world. Those passions that lie in your soul, maybe dormant or maybe wild awake, and help you to connect with them and keep them going forward. This is a really great crystal for helping you to immerse yourself in what you really love. And often when we're trying to do something that really fulfills us, we get distracted or other people distract us. And this, remember rubies can be quite protective, can help to guard against things that will kind of dampen your light, dampen your spark or dampen your passions. This is also an amazing crystal for not necessarily attracting soulmates, although it can be used for that, but I find it's also really good for maintaining that passion that soulmates have. Yeah, soulmates are definitely meant to be together, but we're tested through this mortal existence and sometimes that love can wane. If you fear that things are slipping away or that fire is starting to get dampened, then get some Fiskanasset Ruby, place it around the bedroom, Maybe grab a couple and exchange them and you and your partner both carry them. Whatever it may be, wearing it over the heart will help to ignite that fire as well. What you're gonna find with this Ganasset Ruby is kind of that long, eternal, ageless fire. It also helps us to make sure that we're always recreating and transforming ourselves. In nature, we're either growing, and if we're not, we're decaying. And that means that we're always gonna be in a constant form of reflux and changing and evolving and metamorphosizing. And this really supports you in doing that, but to doing that in a harmonious way. To do that in a way that is good for yourself, good for those around you, and good for the environment. So if you wanna live a passionate life, following your passions and what really drive you and immerse yourself into them, and to milk the most out of life, Fiskanasset Ruby will awaken that fire within you that it comes from your soul, not just a, a little interest that comes from a year or two, but something that really nurtures your soul and allow you to keep on working with that and growing that and allowing that to color in the artwork of your life, to bring in more shade and more color and more emotional experiences that really fulfill you and keep you excited, happy, joyous, and full of peace. final two crystals that I want to share with you were originally found in Greenland but have since revealed themselves elsewhere in the world as well. Now there was a Danish geologist searching in, um, in Greenland and found this crystal and named it after himself. This is a crystal called Kornarupine. Now Kornarupine is quite a rare crystal and I've struggled to find anything rather large so I've just got a couple of small little ones like this and it's kind of a greeny yellow colour most of the time um, when, you, when you have it. Um, now, what this is really great, it's obviously a heart chakra crystal, being mainly green, and it's really good for helping to calm and level out the emotions. Now, are you overly emotional? Maybe you're a Cantarian, a Pisces, or a Scorpio, or you just have a lot of water in your astrological makeup, and that you find that sometimes your emotions distort your reality or get the better of you in some way. Or maybe you're an empath, and sometimes you get overwhelmed by other people's emotions. This crystal is going to be absolutely great. We don't want to shut off this great empathy that you have to be able to relate to other people and feel the emotional energy around. But we also don't want that to, you don't want to drown in your emotions that get the better of you, that you see things in a distorted or not true way. Basically, corner rupine helps you to actually get to the heart of issues, to see past illusions, to see past, um, I guess, kind of 
filters that we may put on due to our own emotional interpretation and see things as they truly are. Being able to relate to other people in that empathetic, heartfelt way is powerful, but only if it's refined. And this crystal can be really, really powerful in that way. Being an empath is a great strength and you don't want to hide away from the world because you're getting overwhelmed by that emotional energy. By wearing this near your heart, it'll help to kind of refine that energy and help to kind of allow you to use it to your advantage to understand what's truly happening. The same when you're a water sign or just if you're an emotional person, it doesn't actually matter which sign you are, but the water signs will have that tendency sometimes to get overwhelmed by the emotions or the emotional energy of a situation as well. This is gonna be a fine tuner. It's almost filtering the emotions so that it's acting to your advantage and not to your disadvantage as well. This then allows you to say exactly what you need to say in a really um, kind of refined way, an eloquent way, so that people can understand. And in fact, this can be a really beautiful one to help teachers in any form as well. It helps you get to the heart of the topic, the heart of the matter, the heart of the subject, and express exactly what needs to be expressed so that it resonates with the hearts of other people around you, inspiring them as well. So Corner Rupine is a really beautiful crystal to get your hands on if you feel that you need to kind of refine your emotional energy and use it to your advantage. The final crystal I want to share with you, again, was originally found in Greenland, but then was found in other locations as well. That's cryolite. Now it may just look like a simple white crystal, but this is such a powerful crystal. It's a really nice cleansing and removing of energy crystal. And I find that it's actually a really great crystal for you to work with to help you surrender a little bit more. Where are you putting pressure on yourself? Or is there implied pressure around you that overwhelms you? Whether you're trying to achieve too much, whether there's time pressure, this can be a really great crystal to just remove that away, to help you relax a little bit more and surrender into the joy of the moment and experiencing everything rather than rushing through everything onto the next task. It also helps with detachment. Now detachment is where we let go of any emotional attachment that's not serving us. Now this may be a relationship that we've been in or that we're currently in and we know that it's not good for us, or it may be something that we're really kind of wanting to happen. Maybe you're attached to your children going to a certain university. Maybe you're attached to your partner doing something. And what happens is that attachment and that emotionality puts real pressure on that situation and it's not working out for you. You're forcing something rather than allowing it to happen. Again, cryolite is really beautiful for that. So whenever you find yourself and there's force around you that's not that's kind of putting pressure on a situation, whether that's imposed from the world around you and you're feeling pressure on you, maybe you're putting pressure on yourself or you're putting pressure on other people, reaching for cryolite can really help. It's a really a stone of surrender. And in fact, when you place it in water, it almost seems to disappear. It allows you to just merge with your surroundings, to be part of the flow again. We know that the universe has this kind of flowing energy. And when we're going down the stream, life works really easily. And we find that things work really powerfully and we manifest. It's when we start swimming upstream, when we start forcing things, that life becomes a struggle. And Cryolite grabs you the boat, turns it around and directs you downstream. So, this is another powerful crystal and one of the five that I've loved sharing with you in this video. So which one's your favorite? Please let me know in the comment section. Is it Kakortakite, this crystal that has this beautiful yin, introspective, lunar kind of energy that brings a bit more grace and ease and connection into your life? Maybe it's Norgeite that helps you to love yourself and to see your worth and to feel confident shining your worth and shining your gifts out in the world. Maybe it's the Fiskin Asset Ruby to ignite that passion that's always been there, that you brought into this incarnation and to keep that going, whether that be in what you do in love or what you do in life. Maybe it's corner Yupine, which I still struggle to say, which will really help you to kind of refine your emotional energy, to use it to your advantage to be able to empathize and relate and show compassion to others without getting overwhelmed or distorting your um, kind of perception of the world. Or maybe you just need to sit, give yourself a break surrender to the beautiful flow and the guidance of the universe. And that is what Cryolite's just for. I'd love to know which ones you've got in your collection, what you've noticed from them, and maybe which ones I've, no I've mentioned are really kind of singing out to you. Each of these five crystals can be a little bit challenging to find, 
But as with the other five crystals I explored in my other video, Tugdapite, Numite, Hakmanite, uh, Greenlandite, and Usengite, they've all got this really unique power. And once you've got them in your possession, once you're a guardian of one of these stones, you're gonna really find out why they are so powerful. So thanks for spending this time with me and exploring some stones from a place in the world that I absolutely love. These crystals are magnificent, and I hope they help you to bring out your personal magic. I'm Adam Barillet of Crystal Connections. Thanks for spending some time with me. Blessed be.